today we are talking about virginity. And before we get into the nitty gritty of it, I just wanna say we are living in a time in society where instant gratification is everything. You can have almost anything you want or desire with the click of a mouse, with the downloading of an app, you can get almost anything that you need or want within a moment. And in this context, your sex drive is telling you pretty loud and clear what you want right now. And we're not used to waiting. We're not used to waiting anymore. And it's interesting because when it comes to the topic of virginity, it is a wait. It's a wait. God says waiting is the best way to do it. Sex is this beautiful, powerful thing reserved for the context of marriage. And when we don't learn how to wait well, despite what peer pressure is telling you, despite what society is telling you, despite what your own sex drive is telling you, if we don't learn how to wait well, we rob ourselves of actually the power in the gift, the power of unwrapping the beautiful gift inside of marriage. And if you think about it, a priceless gift, a priceless gift isn't given at a whim. It's given to one person with intentionality. It's probably wrapped in this really beautiful package. You've spent time thinking about how you're going to present it. And you don't just give it away without thinking a ton about it. God says that your virginity is like that. It's a priceless gift. It's a gift to you for a couple reasons. It's a gift to you because your season of stewarding your virginity is your season to learn how to bring value to this thing called sex. We're all created with a desire for sex. We're all created to have sex in order to have children. We're all created um, to enjoy sex inside of the context of marriage. And when we're young and we're, and we're growing into our maturity, uh, before we're married, it's our season of life to actually co-labor with God in bringing value to that gift that he's given us. And, you know, we protect things that are really valuable. And so your season of virginity is, is about protecting the thing that God says is a beautiful gift to you. So it is a gift to you. Virginity is. It's beautiful. It's also a gift to the one that you marry. It's this amazing gift that you get to give on your wedding night. And it's powerful when it comes by choice. It's powerful when you've made an intentional decision to, um, to value it, to steward it really well, to manage your sex drive, to figure out what it means, our sexuality, um, to understand it through God's eyes. And then when you've made this really incredible covenant decision, um, this choice to love and choose someone for the rest of your life, you get to experience intimacy with them on a level that brings freedom. And the thing about the thing about sex inside of marriage is this, is that it's the most free, beautiful expression of intimate love that you can have inside of your marriage. But if you actually engage in sex, if you give in to your sex drive before marriage, what was meant to be amazing and beautiful and intimate and powerful that brings brings you together with your spouse, it's actually really damaging. It brings a lot of pain because sex is powerful. And, and just because you do it outside of marriage doesn't mean that it's not powerful. It just means that it's damaging instead of a gift. So think about that. Think about, um, I, I think that it's actually really helpful to cast vision for yourself. Like what do you want it to be like on your wedding night? And let's be honest, marriage isn't just about what happens on your wedding night, but it's the beautiful beginning of something that you build together with your spouse. So cast vision for yourself. What do you want it to be like? What do you want to share with your spouse? What do you want to be able to tell your spouse about how you have stewarded and valued and protected this beautiful thing that's meant to give away in the context of marriage? It's amazing, but you're going to have to decide ahead of time, what are your core values? What are you protecting? Do you actually trust the Lord and believe what he says about your sexuality, that it's beautiful, that it's designed um, to be expressed in, in the context of marriage as far as intercourse goes? Um, virginity isn't, it's not a lack of anything. I think society tells us that uh, our virginity is sometimes a lack of experience or there's this stigma that, um, gosh, you watch it in like the sitcom movies or romantic comedies where you see that the girl who hasn't done it yet is the one who's inexperienced or uncool. It's so not true. 
It's so not true. So I want to cast vision for you and say, if you haven't, if you haven't decided what you're saving, if you haven't um, given some purpose to the pain of stewarding well and saying no in, in the face of desiring instant gratification, I would just encourage you to sit with, sit with the Lord, sit with a journal, write down some of your core values, decide, decide ahead of time what your standard is and, and set before you the vision of what it is that you're actually fighting for. Because it is true that vision gives pain a purpose and vision gives hard work a purpose. And it is hard work to keep your virginity, but gosh, the payoff is amazing. And, and girls, I just want to encourage you that what God's given you in your sex drive and in this beautiful gift of virginity, it is truly amazing to give away in the context of marriage.